Now before we get into this, I just want to say, milk with a little bit of maple syrup in it is the most delicious drink ever, alright? Anyways, so we're going to be uh, moving around. We're not going to battle the gym leader this episode. We are going to get some uh, much needed stuff. So here we are battling a dancer. And uh, my Celebi is still in my party, so let's go ahead and use Leaf Storm. And the bitch ass Celebi is going to pretend not to notice me even though I'm standing right here. That's why you just got your ass Fury swipe to the face. Bitch! So I'm going to have to switch out because my Celebi is obviously not going to uh, acknowledge my presence. You fucking bastard. So I'm going to switch out to all of that. And all of that's going to get bitten, but then I'm going to bite him back with a Fire Fang. So now it's just the War of the Bites. And we both need tetanus shots after that because we don't know where our teeth have been. And, um, yeah. So the thing with these dancer guys is that we have to find the other two dancers. And if we find the other two dancers, I'll be able to get an amulet coin from them. And the amulet coin will double the amount of money we get from battles. So, you know, it's cool. So, uh, right now I'm actually looking for the dude that gives me the Evo Stone, or the Evo Light, uh, what it's called in English. And that guy has a dancing outfit, yet he did not, he wasn't part of the three dancing crew or something, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, we find the scientist. This guy's gonna give me the Evo Light, because, uh, you have to have seen 20 Pokemon in order to get the Evo Light from him. And, uh, he, what the Evo Light does is it raises both special defense and defense by, uh, 150%. And, uh, okay, no, it's 50%. It raises them by 50%. Anyways, we're gonna go down this alleyway. Uh, we're gonna see these two guys, you know, sucking each other off and stuff. And we're gonna find the second dancer here. But, uh, you know, he says he won't help anybody who's not stronger than him. So, he's about to get his shit pushed in real quick. And, uh, he has a pan pour. And, uh, obviously I can't stay in with my all of that. Because all of that is weak to water gun. So I'm gonna go to Shofu, who's the fucking boss. And Shofu can take water guns all day. And uh, he's going to go for the bite, which makes no sense. And then I'm going to kick him in the face. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, he's going to go for the Fury Swipe. So now it's not going to do diddly. And I'm going to kick him in the face one more time. Roundhouse kick to the face, that is. So uh, yeah, we defeat the second dancer. And he's going to go join up with the other dude. Then we're going to go into this place. Uh, everybody's going to say a bunch of useless nonsense. But then uh, we're going to go up to the bartender. And the bartender is going to give us a nice lemonade to sip on. <laughs> And then we're gonna go over to this guy who's jacking off behind the dumpster. And then we find him and he's like, where did I put those sunglasses? Cause he's trying to play off him jacking off as uh, him looking for his sunglasses. But um, yeah, then he's gonna give us TM70 flash in the alleyway as he's jacking off. So he pretty much just flashed us his junk while he was jacking off in the alleyway. And he tried to play it off as finding his uh, sunglasses and stuff. So he's a liar. Uh, so we're gonna be moving on our way looking for the third dancer. He's not there. Uh, he's not there either. There's some useless people here. Um, but now we're at the Pokemon Center, so we might as well switch up our Pokemon. Because, as you know, last episode, I need, I got my Celebi, and now I have my Zorua, named Zeke. And I caught my Victini last episode. So, uh, as you can see, my Zorua is hasty-natured, which is pretty good. Pretty good. So, uh, I'm gonna switch up my Celebi for my Luna. I'm going to drop off Zorua for now, but when I get the, um, when I get the, uh, what's it called? Oh, I have a Rash Victini, that's cool too. And then, uh, yeah, Sunny Floor is timid. And, uh, the other one was serious, so I'm glad I got two because, uh, one of them, anyways. So I'm going to switch in my, uh, my, uh, Duat for my, uh, Sandow right now. And, uh, um, no, I'm going to switch in Duat for Zorua right now. But um, what I was saying was I'm not going to use Zoru until I get the experience share, which I will get this episode, because Zoru is on a very low level, it's only on level 10, so it's going to be hard to train to train it without dying, especially since it uh, has such low defenses. So uh, now I'm going to be searching the freaking globe for this third dancer, and uh, he's not on any of these piers, and I'm getting upset, and it's funny how I run right past the pier that he's actually on. I checked every single pier except for the middle one, because I'm dumb. Check this one twice. Oh, here he is. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I guess after I beat this third dancer here, I'll be able to get the amulet coin. So, uh, you know, Eddie from Tekken, you know, wants to battle me. So, I'm gonna set out my all of that, and I'm gonna go for the headbutt. 
and I'm gonna miss, but then he's gonna miss, and then I'm gonna go for the headbutt again, I'm gonna hit, and he's gonna flinch, and then I'm gonna go for the headbutt again, and he's gonna die. So, Eddie from Tekken just got his ass beat, and on top of that, all of that grows to level 17, uh, but I'm not gonna teach him uproar because it's kinda useless, because uh, he has terrible, horrible, awful special attack. So now I'm gonna go, uh, you know, walk past the dude sucking each other off and the dude jacking off, and then I'm gonna find these, okay, A. Don't finish downloading things while I'm narrating. <laughs> Anyways, um, so the three dancing dudes are like, Ajum! And then, uh, you know, we're gonna go into the battle tower. Just kidding, it's not the battle tower, it's the battle, uh, factory. Or, no, not factory. Battle center? I don't know. It's some building with a bunch of dudes that want to battle. And you, in order to get the, uh, the uh, experience share, you have to go into this building and beat everybody. So, you know, why not? Anyways, um, so this dude's like, I don't know, says a whole bunch of stuff that nobody needs to hear, and then, uh, you know, we're gonna go follow him up the elevator, because I, I don't know, um, I gotta beat these people, so, you know, we're gonna do that, and, uh, Intimidate, and, um, I'm gonna go for the Fire Fang, still does a decent amount because of Hustle, and, uh, you know, he hustles hard every day. Hustle! 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 Hard! Anyways. So, uh, you know, Hustle lowers accuracy but raises attacking power, which is why I'm going to be able to one-hit K. Okay, I'm going to switch out to Muna, because I don't want to take the rock throw or anything. And then Sidebeam's going to one-hit KO the Timber to the Dome. Bitch! And then, uh, you know, this lady's like, what's good? And she wants to battle. And then she has a Petalil, so she can just get Fire Fanged to the Dome real quick. And all of that is already not playing games. Already on level 19. What's good? What is going on? You don't even know. And uh, I'm going to delete um, a move for Facade. And then I'm gonna go for another fire thing on the Cottony. Cottony can get demolished and destroyed. Destrolished, yes, combo words. I'm gonna find this revived and I'm gonna battle this dude. And this dude does not know what he has in store for himself. And uh, never mind, yes, he does because I'm gonna have to switch out because he's a water Pokemon and he actually went for the Aqua Jet, so I'm glad I switched out the Peanut. So get Perdected. And then Grass Knot, and then Grass Knot again. And Dead Basculin. So um, now I'm gonna switch out back to PK because he's PK and not only that um uh 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 you know I want some experience on him and then uh you know grass not and razor shell combo will kill your ass so uh well, here's one more basket and I decided to stay in this time and I'm just gonna go for two uh okay I'm gonna go for a grass knot and then a water gun and then peanut grass level 22 and then we're on our way and the scientist dude gives us the scope lens and then this scientist dude wants to battle because he's jealous of the other scientist dude giving us stuff so this guy wants to beat me up because of it and then he uses the X special defense but he's dumb because I used uh, sand tomb and sand tomb is a physical attack and then I go for the assurance and then this guy goes for uh, rock blast and it hits four times and then sand tomb almost kills but then I go for another sand tomb and it does kill and then rock and roller dies and then I get an attack raise and then he wants to and then PK wants to learn mud slap but I'm like hell no and he doesn't learn mud slap and then this guy gives me timer balls and quick balls so he must like balls because he had 12 of them so he really likes balls and then he anyways I found a hyper potion and then this guy right here is gonna want to battle and he's gonna die because he only has one Pokemon but I leave with my Muna so I'm gonna have to switch out and go to my PK and then PK is gonna go for the assurance and get a critical hit BITCH <laughs> and uh, I get my Moxie boost and Moon grows to level 19 and I'm not gonna teach Moon and Hypnosis because I find Yawn a lot better so um uh we are gonna go up find fight this freaking scientist girl scientist Samantha and then her Luna is gonna get demolished by a fire fang but then it barely lives and then I'm gonna go for the facade and take it out so what is good and then all of that grows to level 20 yes so um scientist Steve sends out a swaddle and we're gonna go for the fire fang just to kill it in one hit so get your shit pushed in you little bitch and then um I'm gonna switch to my lineup and then we are finally at the second to last dude and he has a pants here, and I set up my Muna, and Muna's gonna go for the side beam, because Muna is not playing games with your stupid incinerates. Yes, and then you die from another side beam, and then he has another play and pour, and then I'm gonna just, you know, rinse and repeat, go for the moonlight, then I'm gonna go for the side beam, then I'm gonna go for another side beam, and you're just gonna die, because you're dumb, bitch. But he has bite, and, you know, he bit one of my flowers, so I'm like, ow. And then Luna grows to level 20, and then he has this freaking pan sage, smoking on that sage, smoking on that cash if. And then, um, you know, go for another side beam in your face. And then, 
you know, they lock my CEO up, so we're finding the CEO of the company, but he's just he's dressed like a janitor because he's the fruit, and it's ironic that he's dressed like a janitor because he has a trash Pokemon, but Muna doesn't care because Muna goes for the uh, side beam and almost one hit KOs, KOs it, but not quite. Goes for another side beam, you know. Now it's dead, and. Uh, uh, you know, his last dude is a Minchino, so I'm gonna go up to Shofu, and Shofu gets the guts boost from Poison, and then Shofu's gonna kick it in the nuts and kill it. So, um, yeah. It's game over. Game over! And, um, <laughs> yeah, the janitor dude's gonna give us the experience share. So, that is awesome, because now I can get my, uh, Zarua out of the computer, I can get my Victini out of the computer, and I can train them both without actually battling with them, so they won't die and they'll gain all their experience. So that's awesome, I'm gonna go do that now. I'm gonna go heal up my dudes, then I'm gonna go to the computer and get out my Zerua. Okay, I forgot to get out my Zerua. Yes, get up, get, get out my Zerua. Yes, so Zerua's here chilling. I'm gonna switch it with. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't even know. I'm gonna switch it with Sandow. PK! Fuck you, PK. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna switch out a dude for my Victini, and we're gonna be on our way to finally challenge the damn gym leader. So we're going to the gym, and I run. I, w I just ran right past the gym, and I go into this building with nobody in it. Why is there nobody in this building? I could throw a big ass, fat ass party in it. Anyways, so it's funny how I ran. I ran. Look, there's a gym sign right here, and I'm still going in the wrong direction. I'm still going in. Okay, yeah. So the gym must be this way. And uh, yeah, the gym is right here. So finally, I get to challenge the gym leader. Okay, Sharon, what the hell are you doing? Nobody cares that you beat the gym leader. Get the hell out of here. And then the gym leader's here, so I'm like, yeah. Okay, and then he runs away. And then, uh, I guess I gotta find them on the pier or something, and I have no idea which one. Okay, I fucking hate Castellia City. It's too goddamn big. Why is it so big? Pause, that's what she said. I know. Yes. So then this ginger comes out of nowhere, and he's like, um, 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 um. And then he runs away because he's a little bitch. And then I'm gonna follow him because he ran, and I can see where they went. And then the gym leader's like, uh,. Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? And I'm like, he went that way, you dumb little... Okay, I'm done saying bitch for, for the rest of the episode. So, um... Yeah, I'm gonna follow these dudes, and there's a grouping of them. And then he's like, um... This is definitely the spot. And then he's like, no. This is not the spot. If you think I'm lying... You want to fight about it? And then I'm like, yeah. And then... They're like, oh shit, I didn't think you would say yes. We're in trouble, guys. So, um, now they Team, team Plasma wants to battle because they're dumb. And Team Plasma grunts sent out a sand out. And I'm just going to go for the incinerate. And I get a critical hit. And now I'm just going to go for the quick attack to finish him off. And because of the experience share, Zaru is going to go to level 11. And then I'm going to switch D-Mac out and go to my Peanut. And then Peanut's going to go for Water Gun. And then uh, Zaru is going to gain 213 experience and go to level 12. So that is just super sick. And then, uh, yeah, so we're doing very well right now. Very, very, very well. Very well, very well, very well. So we're going to follow them in. And, uh, you know, Bianca's a dumb bitch, so she let Team Plasma steal her uh, Muna because she's such a weakling. And then, uh, you know, they're going to give her Muna back eventually because, you know, we're very intimidating. Uh, you know, a little girl, a dumb bitch who can't even battle a gym leader, and then me. They were just scared of me, solely me. That's why they gave Muna back. If I wasn't here, they would not have given that shit back. They would have just left. They would have just shot up. They would have shot up the place and just left. Would have been blood everywhere, all over the walls. <laughs> so the dumb bitch gives me a, a Yachty Berry, which lets me um, survive ice attacks if I'm weak to them. Then I'm gonna go over here and get a smoke ball, which allows me to run away from anything at any time. So uh, that's probably how freaking Team Plasma just gets away without anybody no noticing. Uh, like when they stole the Dragon Skull from the museum. Anyways, so we are going to go to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and then I am going to be back in that gym next episode, whooping the gym leader's ass, and then moving on to Route 4, where all the cool stuff is. And uh, yes, that will be it for this episode. So um, if you like this episode, I kind of narrated this differently than I would the other ones. I'm not as enthusiastic, but I found I found it I found it more enjoyable to narrate just because I'm being funnier by not being enthusiastic. <laughs> Anyways, um if you like this please like the video because that helps it get noticed and people I'm pretty sure people like the like watching these because I keep getting high demand to upload the next one. 
So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. See you guys later. Deuces, all that good stuff. Be sure to subscribe. Buttons right above the video. And, uh, yeah. Bye. Deuces. All that good stuff. Cheers.